Well Trevor, thanks very much for inviting me over this evening. As you know we're doing the family tree mm -hmm. and uh, uh, thank you for agreeing to do the video. Um, so could you give me your name, your full name? Uh, Trevor Prescott Gorham. Uh, another Prescott. <laughs> and uh, when were you born? 8th of the 1140. And have you any brothers or sisters? I have two. Yes. Barbara, Barbara. and Ken. And Ken? Yeah. Okay. And your mum and dad, who were they? John and Emily. John and Emily. Yeah. And have you any children yourself? I have. Who do you have? <laughs> You've got two sets of children. Two, two sets of twins. Oh, right. Claire, Estelle, Sharon, Lorraine. Okay. And a son called Christopher. Okay. And uh, Christopher, what age is he now? He's 44. He's living in England, isn't he? He is. In Leeds. And the two girls? Sharon Lorraine is um, 42. 42. And Claire and Estelle is 27. So they're the younger, the younger part of your younger family? Younger twins, yeah. Most of them live in Northern Ireland, but who doesn't live in Northern Ireland? Christopher. And he's living in? Leeds. Leeds. Okay, and uh, one of the things that I didn't point for this family tree was Granny McCune, yeah. who we all used to visit. Yeah. I mean, the thing that I remember is they had an outside loo, and if you went yeah. to the loo, it was freezing cold. Yeah. I remember that. You had to sit with your foot against the door. That's it. That's it. There's no, not a newspaper for toilet it. rolls. Newspaper for toilet rolls. That's right. I remember that. And uh, the back garden, the, the bit that seemed to go on forever, didn't it? It did. Big, long, thin back garden. Yeah. And you had a wee shade. And sitting beside you is your good, good lady wife. Yeah. <laughs> your maiden name was... Aunt Stella. Well, it was Andrews because they'd been married before. So right. Before that was Martin. So your, your maiden name's Martin, yes. and then you got married and became Andrews, and now you're Gorham. Yes, that's correct. And you have children of your own as well? Right, yes, I have four in the first marriage. Um, three girls and a boy. And what are they called? Uh, Ruth, Wendy, Helen and Colin. Right. And then I've got the twins, Trevor, and I have the twins, Claire and Estelle. Yes. And they're 27. Mm -hmm. And what about the, the, your, your other children? Uh, are they married themselves? Oh, right, yes, Ruth, well, she's 44 and she's married, she's got four children. Wendy's married and she has one child. Helen's married and she has three children. Colin's married and he has two children. And then Claire and Estelle, uh, both married, and Estelle's got one boy. Finley. Finley. Yeah, he's nine months. <laughs> he's nine months, lovely. That's a lot of Christmas cards. There's <laughs> much Christmas cards. A lot of Presents. Presents. <laughs> <coughs> There's no... Christmas. Now we're talking about flooring mm. and you, you said something there that's, that struck a note. What, what was that? No, Ken always got the cream buns and I got the plain buns. So flooring favoured Ken. Favored Ken, not yeah, you? Because he was, he was kind of thin and my mother always says to me, you're a big strong boy. You go out and get the coal. And I says, what about him? Uh, he's not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think Flory came up to Joe Mount a few times. They made us coming out of school when the cream buns came in there. Oh, she bought the buns on the way up, did she? She must have. And Ken's bun was sitting there and my plain one was sitting here. Okay. So I had no cream bun. <laughs> yes, it used to come up too. She used to look after you. And maybe I remember when Barbara was out working when her mother was I, I remember Lizzie used to, because she, remember the sewing machine? Mm -hmm. Do you remember where it was? Where was the sewing machine? In, In Cooper Street. At the window. At the window. Mm. It was always at the window. Because yeah, the light shone in. Because you got plenty of good, good light. Yeah. I remember. And the piano in the corner. What are your memories of Jimmy? Mm. Very little. I remember him coming home from Maggie's. All the different hundreds of men walking down Cooper Street. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember of Jimmy. And church. Going to the church. Mm -hmm. I used to well in the church. Wasn't yeah. Funny, he smoked too, like that. So he did. He did. Mm -hmm. He took a wee drink too, didn't he? Was he? Aye. Mm -hmm. That's all I remember. He smoked. Um, Gallagher's Gal Blues. Gallagher's Blues. They were very strong ones, I think. They were. Didn't like shop steward or something, Mackie? He was. Uh -huh. Was he shop steward? Shop steward. Mm -hmm. He was. Mm -hmm. But that's all I remember about Jimmy, David. And well, what about Lizzie? <clears throat> Mm. You told me about her taking classes and all, and she learned to drive and all. She, she could oh, well, she learned, uh, she took lessons, and she, she passed first time, time. She yeah. Lessons. And she was driving around the city hall, and I think she uh, had a bus, but it was the bus driver's fault apparently, but he blamed Lizzie, and you know, he wasn't going to admit he hit the car. 
and it doesn't think she drove Deborah after that. She'd only done that to prove she could do it. Yes. And you say she used to walk to Lisburn? Well, she walked to Lisburn. She did. And you say she went to night school and all turned Well, she did. She walked up uh, the Martin. Yeah. And she done clay, um, yeah, done. working with clay. Copper and stuff and all. Yeah, she did. That's great.